Startup Success Turning Your Vision into Reality. Prelude. This book is written by Better Life Library and is designed to inspire you to become the entrepreneur you've always wanted to be. It's for those who have an entrepreneurial spirit but aren't sure where to start. Maybe you have a spark of an idea, or perhaps you simply crave the freedom of being your own boss. Wherever you are in your journey, this book will guide you through each step, turning your dreams into a thriving business. Starting a business can seem daunting, but you don't need to have all the answers right now. You don't need to understand how to craft a business plan or secure funding yet, this book will teach you. We will explore how to discover the perfect business idea, tailored to your passions and skills, and how to navigate the complexities of market research to ensure your idea has a viable market. From brainstorming techniques to identifying emerging trends, you'll learn how to turn your passions into opportunities. We'll cover the essentials of creating a solid business plan, the backbone of any successful venture, and provide practical advice on how to secure the funding you need to get started. Beyond the logistics, this book emphasizes the importance of building a strong support network. No entrepreneur succeeds alone, and you'll discover how to find mentors, join professional organizations, and leverage online communities to support your journey. As you move through each chapter, you'll gain the knowledge and confidence needed to launch and grow your business. From creating a compelling marketing strategy to retaining customers and scaling your operations, each section is filled with actionable insights and real-world examples to help you succeed. Remember, every successful business starts with a single idea and a relentless spirit. Embrace the challenges, celebrate the successes, and stay determined. Your entrepreneurial journey is just beginning, and with dedication and perseverance, you can turn your vision into reality. Welcome to Startup Success, turning your vision into reality. Let's embark on this exciting adventure together. Chapter 1. Discovering Your Business Idea Every successful business starts with a great idea. But how do you find that idea? How do you know if it's the right one for you? The journey of entrepreneurship begins with identifying a viable business concept that aligns with your passions and meets market needs. This chapter is your guide to uncovering that perfect idea, blending inspiration with practicality. Understanding where to start is often the hardest part. You might have a vague notion of what you want to do or a general sense of wanting to be your own boss. This chapter will help you take those initial thoughts and shape them into a concrete business idea. We will explore various methods to stimulate your creativity, conduct essential market research, and evaluate your skills and strengths to ensure your idea is not only exciting but also feasible. Discovering your business idea is about finding the sweet spot where your interests intersect with market opportunities. It's about identifying a problem you're passionate about solving or a need you're eager to fulfill. By the end of this chapter, you will have a clearer vision of your potential business idea, setting the stage for developing a solid business plan and turning your entrepreneurial dreams into reality. So, let's dive into this exciting process. Whether you're overflowing with ideas or starting with a blank slate, this chapter will provide the tools and insights you need to discover the business idea that's perfect for you. Passion meets opportunity. Passion meets opportunity. Finding a business idea that excites you and has market potential is the first step on your entrepreneurial journey. Passion fuels persistence, and aligning your interests with market demand can lead to a fulfilling and profitable business. Begin by exploring the intersection of what you love and what the market needs. Start with self-reflection. What are you passionate about? What activities or topics do you find yourself drawn to in your free time? These passions can often be translated into business ideas. For instance, if you love cooking, perhaps a food-related business could be your calling. If you're passionate about fitness, a health and wellness venture might be a great fit. Next, consider the market demand. Even the most passionate idea needs to meet a need or solve a problem for others to be successful. Look around and identify gaps in the market. What products or services are missing? What problems do people face that you could solve? For example, if you notice a lack of healthy food options in your area, this could be an opportunity to start a health-focused restaurant or meal delivery service. Real-life example. Take the story of Sarah Blakely, the founder of Spanx. She combined her frustration with traditional hosiery with her passion for innovative fashion solutions. By addressing a common problem that many women faced, she turned her idea into a billion-dollar company. Reflect on your skills and experiences as well. Sometimes, 
The perfect business idea is right in front of you, rooted in your professional background or personal experiences. Think about the problems you've encountered and how your unique perspective can offer a solution. Combining passion with opportunity is about more than just finding a good business idea. It's about finding one that you are excited to work on every day. This enthusiasm will not only keep you motivated through the inevitable challenges of entrepreneurship, but will also resonate with customers and investors alike. Brainstorming technique. Brainstorming technique. Generating business ideas requires creativity and a willingness to explore multiple possibilities. Brainstorming is a powerful way to unlock your potential and uncover ideas that you may not have considered initially. Here are several effective brainstorming techniques to help you generate and refine your business ideas. 1. Mind mapping. Start with a central idea and create a visual map of related concepts and ideas. This technique helps you see connections and explore various facets of your primary idea. For example, if your central idea is healthy eating, you could branch out into meal planning, organic foods, nutrition education, and fitness. 2. SWOT analysis. Evaluate your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. This structured approach allows you to identify internal and external factors that can impact your business idea. For instance, if you're skilled in marketing, strength, but lack technical knowledge, weakness, you might look for opportunities in digital marketing while being aware of the threats posed by rapidly changing technology. 3. Scamper. This acronym stands for Substitute, Combine, Adapt, Modify, Put to Another Use, Eliminate, and Reverse. Use these prompts to think creatively about how to innovate or improve existing products and services. For example, could you modify an existing fitness app to better suit a niche market, such as seniors? 4. Problem Solution Identify common problems and brainstorm potential solutions. This customer-centric approach ensures that your business idea addresses real needs. For example, if people in your area struggle with finding affordable childcare, you might brainstorm solutions like a community co-op daycare. 5. Random input. Use random words, images, or objects to spark new ideas. This technique helps break conventional thinking patterns and encourages creative connections. For instance, picking a random word like ocean might inspire a business idea related to sustainable seafood or beachside fitness retreats. Real-life example. Walt Disney used mind mapping to develop the concept for Disneyland. He started with a central idea of a family-friendly amusement park and expanded into various themes and attractions, creating a comprehensive and engaging experience. Brainstorming is not just about generating ideas, but also about refining them. Take time to evaluate each idea, considering its feasibility, potential impact, and alignment with your passions and skills. Keep an open mind and don't be afraid to think outside the box. Remember, some of the most successful businesses started with simple, yet innovative ideas that addressed a common need in a new way. Market Research Basics Market Research Basics Validating your business idea through market research is a crucial step in ensuring its viability. Market research helps you understand your target audience, the competitive landscape, and the demand for your product or service. Here's how to conduct basic market research to strengthen your business concept. 1. Define your target market. Start by identifying who your potential customers are. Consider demographics such as age, gender, income level, education, and location. Understanding your target market's characteristics will help you tailor your product or service to meet their needs. For instance, if you're planning to open a high-end fitness studio, your target market might include health-conscious individuals with higher disposable incomes. 2. Conduct surveys and interviews. Collect direct feedback from potential customers through surveys and interviews. Ask about their preferences, pain points, and what they look for in a product or service similar to yours. Online tools like SurveyMonkey or Google Forms can help you distribute surveys widely. For more in-depth insights, conduct one-on-one -on -one interviews or focus groups. 3. Analyze competitors. Research your competitors to understand what they offer and how they operate. Identify their strengths and weaknesses, pricing strategies, and customer reviews. This analysis will help you identify gaps in the market that you can exploit. Tools like SWOT analysis can be particularly useful here. For example, if competitors in your area offer general fitness classes, you might find a niche in specialized training programs. 4. Use online research tools. 
leverage online resources to gather data and insights about your market. Google Trends can show you how search interest for certain products or services has changed over time. Social media platforms can provide a wealth of information about customer preferences and emerging trends. Additionally, industry reports from sources like IBIS World or Statista can offer valuable data on market size and growth projections. 5. Evaluate demand and trends. Assess the demand for your product or service by looking at market size and growth trends. Are there enough potential customers to sustain your business? Is the market growing or shrinking? Identify current trends that could impact your business. For example, the increasing awareness of sustainability might indicate a growing market for eco-friendly products. Real-life example, when Airbnb was starting out, the founders conducted extensive market research to understand travelers' needs and preferences. They analyzed competitors like hotels and vacation rentals, gathered feedback from early users, and used this data to refine their platform and marketing strategies, ultimately creating a service that met the evolving demands of travelers. Market research is an ongoing process. As you develop your business, continue to gather and analyze data to stay informed about market changes and customer preferences. This continuous feedback loop will help you adapt and evolve, ensuring long-term success for your business. Evaluating skills and strengths. Evaluating skills and strengths. Understanding your skills and strengths is key to finding a business idea that not only excites you but also plays to your abilities. This self-assessment will help ensure that you are well-equipped to turn your idea into a successful venture. Here's how to evaluate your skills and strengths effectively. 1. Make a skills inventory. Start by listing all your skills, both hard and soft. Hard skills are specific, teachable abilities such as coding, graphic design, or accounting. Soft skills include interpersonal abilities like communication, leadership, and problem-solving. Don't forget to include skills from all areas of your life, including hobbies and volunteer work. This comprehensive inventory will give you a clearer picture of what you bring to the table. 2. Identify your strengths. Reflect on your past experiences to identify your strengths. Think about projects or tasks where you excelled or received positive feedback. Consider the roles you naturally gravitate towards in group settings. Strengths are often skills that you are not only good at, but also enjoy using. For example, if you consistently take the lead in organizing events and enjoy doing so, leadership and organizational skills might be among your strengths. 3. Seek feedback. Sometimes, others can see strengths and skills that you might overlook. Ask colleagues, friends, and family for feedback on what they perceive to be your strengths and areas of expertise. They can provide valuable insights and help you identify patterns you might have missed. 4. Match skills to business ideas. Once you have a clear understanding of your skills and strengths, match them to potential business ideas. For instance, if you have strong writing skills and a passion for storytelling, starting a content creation or freelance writing business could be a good fit. If you're skilled in technology and problem solving, a tech startup might be ideal. 5. Fill the gaps. Identifying skills and strengths also highlights areas where you may need to improve or seek additional support. Be honest about your weaknesses and consider how you can address them. This might involve taking courses, seeking mentorship, or partnering with someone whose strengths complement yours. For example, if you're great at product development but lack marketing skills, you might partner with someone who has a strong background in marketing. Real-life example. Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak's partnership at Apple is a classic example of complementary skills. Jobs had a vision and marketing prowess, while Wozniak had the technical skills to bring that vision to life. Together, they built one of the most successful tech companies in the world. By thoroughly evaluating your skills and strengths, you position yourself for success. This self-awareness not only helps you choose a business idea that plays to your strengths, but also prepares you to navigate the challenges of entrepreneurship with confidence. Identifying Trends and Opportunities Identifying Trends and Opportunities Staying ahead of the curve by recognizing emerging trends and market gaps can give you a competitive edge. Identifying trends and opportunities allows you to position your business to meet future demands and capitalize on untapped markets. Here's how to stay informed and spot these valuable opportunities. 1. Follow industry news. Regularly read industry-specific publications, blogs, and reports to stay updated on the latest trends and developments. 
subscribe to newsletters from industry leaders and influencers. This will help you keep a pulse on what's happening and what might be coming next. For example, if you're interested in the tech industry, sources like TechCrunch and Wired can provide valuable insights. 2. Analyze consumer behavior. Pay attention to shifts in consumer preferences and behaviors. Social media platforms, forums, and review sites are excellent places to observe what consumers are talking about and what they desire. Tools like Google Trends can show you what people are searching for and how interest levels change over time. 3. Attend conferences and networking events. Industry conferences and networking events are great opportunities to learn about the latest trends and network with other professionals. These events often feature keynote speakers and panel discussions that provide insights into where the industry is heading. Additionally, networking can lead to valuable connections and collaborations that might help you capitalize on emerging opportunities. 4. Leverage technology. Use data analytics tools to gather and analyze market data. Platforms like Google Analytics, SEMrush, and HubSpot can provide insights into consumer behavior, market trends, and competitive analysis. These tools help you make data-driven decisions and identify areas with high growth potential. 5. Think globally. Look beyond your local market to identify global trends that could impact your business. What's popular in one region might soon spread to others. For example, trends in sustainability and eco-friendly products are gaining traction worldwide. Understanding these global movements can help you stay ahead and adapt your business strategy accordingly. Real-life example. Netflix identified the trend of streaming over traditional cable TV early on. By recognizing this shift in consumer behavior, they transformed their business model from DVD rentals to a leading streaming service, staying ahead of the competition and capitalizing on the growing demand for on-demand entertainment. By keeping an eye on trends and being proactive in identifying opportunities, you can position your business for success. This forward-thinking approach not only helps you stay competitive, but also ensures that your business remains relevant and capable of meeting evolving market demands. Conclusion. Aligning passion with market needs. Discovering a business idea that aligns with your passions and meets market needs is a crucial step in your entrepreneurial journey. By exploring the intersection of your interests and market demand, utilizing effective brainstorming techniques, conducting thorough market research, evaluating your skills and strengths, and staying informed about trends and opportunities, you can identify a viable and exciting business idea. This chapter has provided you with the tools and insights needed to uncover that perfect idea. Remember, the key to a successful business lies in the alignment of your passion with a genuine market need. This alignment not only ensures that your business is fulfilling and enjoyable, but also increases the likelihood of its success. As you move forward, keep refining your ideas and continuously seek feedback from potential customers and industry experts. Stay curious stay informed, and most importantly, stay true to what excites you. Your passion will be the driving force behind your perseverance and innovation. In the next chapter, we will take the business idea you've identified and develop it into a comprehensive and actionable business plan. This plan will serve as your roadmap, guiding you through the early stages of your startup and setting the foundation for your business success. Let's continue this journey and turn your vision into reality. Chapter 2 crafting a solid business plan. Turning your business idea into reality requires a well-thought-out plan. A solid business plan serves as your roadmap, outlining the steps you need to take to launch and grow your business. It helps you clarify your vision, set goals, and anticipate challenges. Whether you're seeking investment or simply want a clear strategy to follow, a comprehensive business plan is essential. In this chapter, we will guide you through the process of crafting a business plan that sets the foundation for your success. You'll learn about the key components of a business plan, including how to write an executive summary, conduct market analysis, define your organizational structure, outline your product or service line, and develop a marketing and sales strategy. A well-crafted business plan not only helps you secure funding, but also provides a detailed strategy for your business operations. It forces you to think critically about your business idea identify potential risks, and develop contingency plans. By the end of this chapter, you'll have a thorough understanding of how to create a business plan that not only impresses investors, but also guides you towards achieving your business goals. Let's dive into the essential elements of a business plan and start turning your vision into a structured, actionable strategy. Executive Summary The executive summary is the first and most important part of your business plan. 
It provides a concise overview of your business idea and its potential. This section should capture the essence of your business and intrigue the reader, encouraging them to read further. Here's how to craft a compelling executive summary. 1. Business Concept Begin with a clear and concise description of your business concept. What is your business idea, and what makes it unique? Explain what products or services you offer and how they meet a market need. For example, if you're starting an eco-friendly cleaning service, highlight how your business addresses the growing demand for sustainable living solutions. 2. Mission Statement Include a mission statement that reflects your business's core values and objectives. This should be a brief, inspirational statement that encapsulates your vision and purpose. For instance, our mission is to provide high-quality, eco-friendly cleaning solutions that promote a healthier environment for our clients and community. 3. Market Analysis Summarize your market analysis by briefly discussing the target market and the competitive landscape. Highlight key insights about your industry, target customers, and market trends. This demonstrates that you've done your homework and understand the market dynamics. For example, mention the growing market for green products and the lack of similar services in your area. 4. Business Goals Outline your short-term and long-term business goals. Be specific about what you aim to achieve in the first year, as well as your vision for the next five years. Include measurable objectives such as revenue targets, customer acquisition goals, and market expansion plans. For instance, in the first year, we aim to acquire 200 regular clients and generate $100,000 in revenue. 5. Financial Summary Provide a snapshot of your financial projections, including expected revenue, expenses, and profitability. Highlight key financial metrics that show the potential for growth and sustainability. For example, mention projected profit margins, break-even analysis, and return on investment. Real-life example when writing the executive summary for her business plan, Sarah Blakely, founder of Spanx, focused on the uniqueness of her product, the demand for comfortable shapewear, and her clear vision for the company's growth. This compelling summary helped her secure initial funding and support. The executive summary is your chance to make a strong first impression. It should be clear, compelling, and concise, summarizing the key points of your business plan in a way that grabs attention and invites further reading. Keep it brief ideally one to two pages, and focus on the most critical aspects of your business. Market Analysis Conducting a detailed market analysis is crucial for understanding your industry, target market, and competition. This section of your business plan demonstrates your knowledge of the market landscape and validates the demand for your product or service. Here's how to conduct a thorough market analysis. 1. Industry Overview Start by providing an overview of your industry. Discuss its current state, trends, and growth projections. Include relevant data and statistics to give a clear picture of the industry's potential. For example, if you're entering the fitness industry, you might highlight the increasing demand for health and wellness products and services, along with market growth rates and future trends. 2. Target Market Define your target market by identifying the specific group of customers you plan to serve. Describe their demographics, age, gender, income level, education, etc., psychographics, lifestyle, values, interests, and behavior, buying habits, preferences. Understanding your target market helps tailor your marketing strategies and product offerings to meet their needs. For instance, if you're targeting millennials interested in fitness, mention their preference for convenient, tech-enabled solutions. 3. Market Needs Explain the needs and pain points of your target market. What problems do they face that your product or service can solve? Provide evidence of these needs through surveys, interviews, or secondary research. This establishes the relevance and necessity of your business. For example, if there is a lack of affordable, high-quality fitness options in your area, highlight this gap as an opportunity for your business. 4. Competitive Analysis Identify your key competitors and analyze their strengths and weaknesses. Look at direct competitors, businesses offering similar products or services, and indirect competitors, businesses that meet the same customer needs in different ways. Discuss their market position, pricing strategies, customer base, and marketing tactics. Understanding your competition helps you identify opportunities to differentiate your business. For instance, if your competitors focus on high-end services, you might position your business as an affordable alternative. 5. 
market trends and opportunities. Highlight emerging trends and opportunities within your market. These could include technological advancements, changes in consumer behavior, or regulatory shifts. Staying ahead of trends allows you to capitalize on new opportunities and adapt your business strategy accordingly. For example, if there's a growing trend towards personalized fitness programs, consider how you can incorporate this into your offerings. Real-life example, before launching Airbnb, the founders conducted extensive market analysis to understand the hospitality industry, target market preferences, and competitive landscape. Their insights into consumer behavior and market trends enabled them to create a platform that met the evolving needs of travelers, ultimately disrupting the traditional hotel industry. By thoroughly analyzing the market, you gain valuable insights that inform your business strategy and increase your chances of success. A well-researched market analysis not only impresses potential investors, but also provides a solid foundation for making informed business decisions. Building your dream team. Defining your business's organizational structure is an essential part of your business plan. This section outlines how your company will be organized and managed, detailing the roles and responsibilities of your team. A clear organizational structure ensures that everyone knows their duties and how they contribute to the overall success of the business. Here's how to effectively describe your organizational structure. 1. Company Overview Start with a brief description of your company, including its legal structure, e.g., sole proprietorship, partnership, corporation, LLC, and the reasoning behind your choice. Explain how this structure will benefit your business operations. For example, if you chose an LLC, discuss the benefits of limited liability protection and flexible tax options. 2. Management Team Introduce the key members of your management team, including their roles, responsibilities, and relevant experience. Highlight their skills and qualifications, demonstrating how they contribute to the business's success. For instance, if your business involves technology, mention if your CTO has a strong background in software development and has previously led successful projects. 3. Organizational Chart Provide an organizational chart that visually represents your company's structure. This chart should show the hierarchy of positions and the relationships between different roles. Include both management and staff positions, indicating who reports to whom. For example, the CEO might be at the top, followed by department heads, team leaders, and then individual contributors. 4. Advisory Board If applicable, mention any advisors or board members who provide strategic guidance and expertise to your business. Describe their backgrounds and the value they bring. For example, if you have a seasoned entrepreneur on your advisory board, highlight their experience in scaling businesses and navigating industry challenges. 5. Future Hires Discuss any key positions you plan to hire in the future as your business grows. Explain the importance of these roles and how they will support your business's expansion. For instance, if you plan to hire a marketing director, describe how this role will enhance your marketing efforts and drive customer acquisition. Real-life example when Elon Musk founded Tesla, he assembled a team of experts from various fields, including engineering, finance, and marketing. Each team member brought unique skills and experience, contributing to Tesla's innovative approach and rapid growth. The company's clear organizational structure allowed for efficient decision-making and effective management. A well-defined organizational structure clarifies how your business operates and who is responsible for what. This clarity not only improves internal communication and efficiency, but also reassures investors that you have a competent team in place to execute your business plan. Showcasing your products or services Detailing your products or services is a crucial part of your business plan. This section highlights what you offer, what makes it unique, and why customers will choose your business over competitors. Here's how to effectively showcase your products or services. 1. Product or Service Description Start by providing a detailed description of your products or services. Explain what they are, how they work, and what benefits they offer to customers. Be specific and highlight any unique features or innovations. For example, if you're offering a new fitness app, describe its key functionalities, user interface, and how it improves users' fitness journeys. 2. Unique Selling Proposition USP Identify what sets your products or services apart from the competition. Your USP is the unique feature or benefit that makes your business stand out. This could be anything from superior quality and innovative technology to exceptional customer service. For instance, 
If your product is an eco-friendly cleaning solution, emphasize its environmental benefits and effectiveness compared to conventional products. 3. Development Stage Discuss the current stage of development for your products or services. Are they still in the concept phase, under development, or ready for launch? Provide a timeline for completion and any milestones you have achieved so far. If you have prototypes, patents, or trademarks, mention them to add credibility and show progress. 4. Product line and services offered. If you offer multiple products or services, provide an overview of your entire product line. Describe each item briefly and explain how they complement each other. 4. Service-based businesses. Outline the range of services you provide and any packages or bundles available. For example, a digital marketing agency might offer services like SEO, social media management, and content creation, along with bundled packages for small businesses. 5. Future product development. Outline your plans for future product development or service expansion. Explain how you plan to innovate and stay competitive. Mention any new products or services you intend to launch and the timeline for their introduction. For example, if you're in the tech industry, discuss upcoming software updates or new applications you plan to develop. Real-life example. Apple consistently showcases its products by emphasizing their unique features and seamless integration within the Apple ecosystem. Each new product launch highlights innovation, user experience, and the benefits over previous models and competitors. Effectively showcasing your products or services not only attracts potential customers, but also builds confidence with investors and stakeholders. It demonstrates that you have a clear vision of what you offer and how it meets the needs of your target market. Crafting your marketing and sales strategy. A comprehensive marketing and sales strategy is essential for attracting and retaining customers. This section of your business plan outlines how you will promote your products or services, reach your target audience, and achieve your sales goals. Here's how to develop an effective marketing and sales strategy. 1. Marketing Plan Begin with a detailed marketing plan that outlines your approach to reaching and engaging your target market. Define your marketing objectives and the tactics you will use to achieve them. Consider a mix of online and offline marketing channels, such as social media, email marketing, content marketing, SEO, print advertising, and events. For example, if you're launching an online boutique, your marketing plan might include Instagram advertising, influencer partnerships, and SEO-optimized blog content. 2. Branding. Establish a strong brand identity that resonates with your target audience. Your branding should reflect your business values and differentiate you from competitors. Develop a compelling brand story, logo, tagline, and visual elements that create a consistent and memorable brand image. For instance, if your business focuses on sustainable fashion, your branding should emphasize eco-friendly practices and ethical sourcing. 3. Customer Acquisition Outline your strategies for attracting new customers. This might include promotional offers, referral programs, or partnerships with other businesses. Consider how you will leverage digital marketing tools like Google Ads and social media campaigns to drive traffic to your website or store. For example, a referral program offering discounts to both the referrer and the new customer can effectively boost customer acquisition. 4. Sales Strategy Describe your sales approach and the tactics you will use to close deals and generate revenue. This might include direct sales, e-commerce, or retail partnerships. Define your sales process, from lead generation to conversion, and outline any sales training or support materials needed. For example, if you're selling B2B software, your sales strategy might involve personalized demos, free trials, and a dedicated sales team to follow up with leads. 5. Customer Retention Focus on strategies for retaining customers and encouraging repeat business. Excellent customer service, loyalty programs, and regular engagement are key to maintaining customer satisfaction and loyalty. Consider how you will gather customer feedback and use it to improve your offerings. For example, implementing a loyalty program that rewards repeat purchases with discounts or exclusive offers can enhance customer retention. Real-life example Amazon's marketing and sales strategy includes a robust mix of digital marketing, customer-centric branding, efficient logistics, and a focus on customer satisfaction. Their Prime Membership Program is a prime example of a successful customer retention strategy, offering members exclusive benefits that encourage repeat business. A well-crafted marketing and sales strategy ensures that you can effectively reach your target audience, generate sales, 
and build lasting customer relationships. This section of your business plan demonstrates to investors and stakeholders that you have a clear plan for driving growth and achieving your business goals. Conclusion Building a Roadmap to Success Crafting a solid business plan is a fundamental step in turning your entrepreneurial vision into reality. This chapter has guided you through the essential components of a business plan, providing you with a comprehensive roadmap for your business journey. By developing a compelling executive summary, conducting a thorough market analysis, defining your organizational structure, showcasing your products or services, and crafting an effective marketing and sales strategy, you have laid a strong foundation for your business. Each section of your business plan serves a critical purpose, helping you to clarify your vision, set realistic goals, and prepare for potential challenges. Your business plan is not just a document for securing funding. It's a strategic tool that will guide you through the initial stages of your business and beyond. It forces you to think critically about your business idea, identify potential risks, and develop contingency plans. As your business grows and evolves, your business plan should be a living document, continually updated to reflect new insights, market conditions, and business objectives. Remember, a well-crafted business plan demonstrates to investors, stakeholders, and potential partners that you have a clear vision and a detailed strategy for success. It builds confidence in your ability to execute your business idea and achieve your goals. As you move forward, use your business plan as a reference and a guide. Keep it at the forefront of your planning and decision-making processes. With a solid business plan in place, you are well-equipped to navigate the challenges of entrepreneurship and build a successful, sustainable business. In the next chapter, we will explore the various funding options available to you and provide strategies for securing the necessary capital to launch and grow your business. Let's continue this journey and take the next step toward turning your vision into reality. Chapter 3. Securing Funding for Your Startup Securing funding is a critical step in bringing your business idea to life. Whether you're launching a small startup or aiming for rapid growth, having the necessary capital is essential to cover initial expenses and support your business operations. In this chapter, we will explore the various funding options available to you and provide strategies for securing the capital you need. Understanding the funding landscape can be overwhelming, especially for first-time entrepreneurs. From bootstrapping and seeking angel investors to applying for loans and leveraging crowdfunding platforms, each funding option comes with its own set of advantages and challenges. This chapter will help you navigate these options and determine the best approach for your business. You will learn how to present your business to potential investors, create compelling pitch materials, and develop a strong financial plan that demonstrates your business's potential for growth and profitability. We will also discuss the importance of building relationships with investors and maintaining transparency throughout the funding process. By the end of this chapter, you will have a comprehensive understanding of how to secure funding for your startup, enabling you to turn your vision into reality and embark on your entrepreneurial journey with confidence. Let's dive into the world of startup funding and discover how to get the financial backing you need to succeed. Bootstrapping your business Bootstrapping involves starting and growing your business with minimal external funding. This approach relies on personal savings, revenue generated from early sales, and careful financial management. While it can be challenging, bootstrapping offers several advantages, including maintaining full control over your business and avoiding debt. Here's how to effectively bootstrap your business. 1. Start with personal savings. Use your personal savings to cover initial startup costs. This might include expenses for product development, marketing, and basic operational costs. Starting with your own money reduces financial risk and demonstrates your commitment to potential investors down the line. For example, if you've saved $10,000, you can allocate it to essential startup expenses such as purchasing inventory or developing a website. 2. Generate early revenue. Focus on generating revenue as quickly as possible. Launch a minimum viable product, MVP, or a basic version of your service to start bringing in money. Early revenue can be reinvested into the business to fuel growth. For instance, if you're starting a consulting business, begin offering your services to a few clients and use the earnings to expand your operations. 3. Minimize expenses. Keep your expenses low by being frugal and resourceful. Avoid unnecessary spending and look for cost-effective solutions. This might involve working from home instead of renting office space, using free or low-cost marketing channels, and negotiating with suppliers for better deals. For example, instead of hiring a full-time graphic designer, 
you might use freelance platforms like Upwork for project-based work. 4. Leverage sweat equity. Invest your time and skills into the business instead of money. This might mean taking on multiple roles, such as marketing, sales, and customer service, especially in the early stages. Sweat equity can significantly reduce initial costs and help you understand various aspects of your business. For instance, if you have web development skills, you can build your own website instead of paying someone else to do it. 5. Seek out barter deals. Look for opportunities to trade services or products with other businesses. Bartering can help you acquire what you need without spending cash. For example, if you run a marketing agency, you might offer your services to a local printing company in exchange for discounted printing materials. Real-life example, MailChimp, the email marketing platform, started as a side project funded entirely by its co-founders. They bootstrapped the company for years, focusing on sustainable growth and reinvesting profits back into the business. This approach allowed them to maintain control and eventually grow into a highly successful enterprise. Bootstrapping your business requires discipline, creativity, and a willingness to make sacrifices. However, it can also lead to a more resilient and self-sufficient business. By starting lean and focusing on generating revenue, you can build a solid foundation for your business and retain full control over its direction and growth. Attracting Angel Investors and Venture Capitalists Securing funding from angel investors and venture capitalists, VCs, can provide the capital you need to grow your business quickly. These investors are looking for high-potential startups with strong growth prospects. Here's how to attract and pitch to angel investors and VCs effectively. 1. Research potential investors. Start by identifying investors who have a history of investing in your industry or business stage. Look for angel investor networks, venture capital firms, and individual investors who have shown interest in similar businesses. Research their investment criteria, portfolio companies, and typical deal sizes. For example, if you're launching a tech startup, target VCs known for investing in technology and innovation. 2. Develop a compelling pitch. Craft a persuasive pitch that clearly articulates your business idea, market opportunity, and growth potential. Your pitch should include a compelling story, a strong value proposition, and a clear explanation of how you plan to achieve your goals. Use visual aids like pitch decks to highlight key points. For example, your pitch deck might include slides on your team, market analysis, business model, financial projections, and funding needs. 3. Highlight your unique selling proposition. USP emphasize what sets your business apart from competitors. Investors are looking for unique solutions with a competitive edge. Clearly explain your USP and how it addresses a specific market need. For instance, if your product offers a patented technology or a unique service model, make sure to highlight this in your pitch. 4. Show traction and milestones. Demonstrating traction and progress can significantly boost investor confidence. Highlight any milestones you've achieved, such as product launches, customer acquisitions, revenue growth, or strategic partnerships. For example, if you've already secured a significant number of paying customers or partnered with a well-known company, include these achievements in your pitch. 5. Prepare for due diligence. Investors will conduct thorough due diligence before committing funds. Be prepared to provide detailed information about your business, including financial statements, legal documents, market research, and intellectual property. Ensure that your records are organized and easily accessible. For example, Create a data room with all necessary documents to streamline the due diligence process. Real-life example, when Airbnb was seeking funding, they created a compelling pitch that highlighted their unique business model, demonstrated significant market potential, and showcased their initial traction. This approach helped them secure early investments from well-known angel investors and VCs, fueling their rapid growth. Attracting angel investors and venture capitalists requires a combination of research, preparation, and persuasive communication. By targeting the right investors, developing a compelling pitch, and demonstrating traction, you can secure the funding needed to take your business to the next level. Exploring Small Business Loans and Grants Small business loans and grants can provide the financial support you need to launch or grow your business without giving up equity. Understanding the different types of loans and grants available, and how to apply for them, is crucial for securing this type of funding. Here's how to navigate the process. 1. Types of small business loans. 
there are various loan options available for small businesses, each with its own terms and requirements. Common types include Term loans Traditional loans with fixed interest rates and repayment schedules. These are ideal for financing major investments like equipment or expansion. SBA loans Loans guaranteed by the Small Business Administration, offering favorable terms and lower interest rates. Examples include the 7A Loan Program and the 504 Loan Program. Microloans, smaller loans, typically up to $50,000, offered by nonprofit organizations and community lenders. These are suitable for startups and businesses with modest funding needs. Lines of credit, flexible funding that allows you to borrow up to a certain limit and pay interest only on the amount used. This can help manage cash flow and cover short-term expenses. 2. Applying for loans. To increase your chances of approval, prepare a comprehensive loan application. This typically includes Business plan. A detailed business plan that outlines your business model, market analysis, financial projections, and funding needs. Financial statements. Recent financial statements, such as income statements, balance sheets, and cash flow statements, to demonstrate your business's financial health. Credit history. Your personal and business credit scores. Good credit can improve your chances of securing a loan with favorable terms. Collateral. Information about any assets you can offer as collateral to secure the loan, if required. 3. Small business grants. Grants provide funding that doesn't need to be repaid, but they are often competitive and come with specific requirements. Common sources of grants include Government grants. Federal, state, and local government agencies offer grants for various purposes, such as innovation, research, and community development. Check the Small Business Administration and Grants.gov for opportunities. Nonprofit and Foundation Grants Many nonprofit organizations and foundations offer grants to support small businesses, particularly those that address social, environmental, or community issues. Industry specific grants Certain industries, like technology, healthcare, and agriculture, have grants available to support growth and innovation within those fields. 4. Writing Grant Proposals a strong grant proposal can increase your chances of receiving funding. Your proposal should include Executive Summary A brief overview of your business and the project you need funding for. Need Statement A compelling explanation of the problem your project addresses and why it's important. Project Description Detailed information about your project, including objectives, methodology, and expected outcomes. Budget a clear and detailed budget that outlines how the grant funds will be used. Supporting documents, any additional documents required by the grant provider, such as letters of support, resumes, or certifications. 5. Leveraging resources. Utilize resources like small business development centers, SBDCs, SCORE mentors, and local economic development offices for guidance on finding and applying for loans and grants. These organizations can provide valuable advice and assistance throughout the application process. Real-life example, Spanx founder Sarah Blakely initially funded her business with personal savings and a small business loan. Her careful financial planning and strategic use of available resources helped her grow Spanx into a global brand. Exploring small business loans and grants can provide the capital needed to start or expand your business without diluting ownership. By understanding the available options and preparing strong applications, you can secure the funding required to achieve your business goals. Harnessing the power of crowdfunding Crowdfunding has emerged as a popular method for raising funds by soliciting small contributions from a large number of people, typically via online platforms. This approach not only provides capital, but also helps validate your business idea and build a community of supporters. Here's how to effectively leverage crowdfunding for your startup. 1. Choose the right platform. There are various crowdfunding platforms, each catering to different types of projects and audiences. Some of the most popular platforms include Kickstarter, ideal for creative projects, product launches, and innovative ideas. It operates on an all-or-nothing funding model, meaning you must reach your funding goal to receive the money. Indiegogo offers flexible funding options, allowing you to keep the funds you raise even if you don't reach your goal. Suitable for a wide range of projects. GoFundMe. Best for personal causes and small projects. There's no requirement to meet a funding goal. Equity crowdfunding platforms, such as Seed Invest or Crowdcube, 
which allow you to offer equity in your company in exchange for investment. 2. Create a compelling campaign. A successful crowdfunding campaign requires a well-crafted pitch that resonates with potential backers. Your campaign should include Engaging story. Tell the story behind your business idea, explaining why it matters and what impact it will have. Make it personal and relatable. Clear goals. Clearly state your funding goal and explain how the funds will be used. Break down the costs and show how each contribution will make a difference. Attractive rewards. Offer appealing rewards or incentives for different levels of contributions. These could include early access to your product, exclusive merchandise, or personalized experiences. High-quality visuals. Use professional images and videos to showcase your product or service. A compelling video can significantly boost your campaign's success. 3. Promote your campaign. Successful crowdfunding relies heavily on effective promotion. Use various channels to spread the word and attract backers. Social media. Leverage platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn to reach your network and beyond. Share regular updates, behind-the-scenes content, and progress reports. Email marketing. Build an email list and send targeted messages to potential backers. Personalized emails can increase engagement and support. Press and media. Reach out to bloggers, journalists, and influencers in your industry to feature your campaign. Media coverage can help you reach a broader audience. Community engagement. Engage with your backers by responding to comments, answering questions, and providing updates. Building a strong relationship with your supporters can encourage them to spread the word and increase your campaign's visibility. 4. Maintain transparency. Transparency is crucial in crowdfunding. Keep your backers informed about your progress, any challenges you encounter, and how you're addressing them. Regular updates build trust and maintain excitement about your project. 5. Plan for post-campaign. After your campaign ends, it's essential to deliver on your promises. Fulfill rewards promptly and keep your backers updated on the development and delivery of your product or service. A successful campaign can lead to long-term relationships and loyal customers. Real-life example. Pebble Technology used Kickstarter to fund its smartwatch, raising over $10 million from nearly 69,000 backers. The compelling campaign, clear value proposition, and effective use of social media and press contributed to its success. Harnessing the power of crowdfunding can provide not only the capital needed to launch your business, but also invaluable market validation and a dedicated community of supporters. By creating a compelling campaign and promoting it effectively, you can turn your vision into a reality with the backing of enthusiastic supporters. Leveraging Business Incubators and Accelerators Business incubators and accelerators can provide invaluable resources, mentorship, and funding to help your startup grow and succeed. These programs offer structured support and access to a network of experienced entrepreneurs, investors, and industry experts. Here's how to leverage business incubators and accelerators effectively. 1. Understand the differences. While both incubators and accelerators aim to support startups, they operate differently. Incubators. These programs typically provide early-stage startups with office space, mentorship, and basic resources over an extended period. They focus on nurturing the business from idea development to initial growth. Incubators often take equity in the startups they support. Accelerators. Accelerators are more intensive, time-bound programs designed to rapidly scale startups. They offer mentorship, networking opportunities, and seed funding in exchange for equity. Accelerators usually culminate in a demo day where startups pitch to investors. 2. Identify suitable programs. Research and identify incubators and accelerators that align with your industry, business stage, and goals. Look for programs that have a track record of success and a strong network of mentors and investors. For example, if you're in the tech industry, consider renowned programs like Y Combinator, Techstars, or 500 Startups. 3. Prepare a strong application. The application process for incubators and accelerators can be competitive. To increase your chances of acceptance, prepare a compelling application that highlights your team. Showcase the skills, experience, and dedication of your team members. Your product or service. Clearly describe what you offer the problem it solves, and its unique value proposition. Market potential. Provide evidence of market demand, such as customer feedback, market research, 
or early sales data. Traction and milestones. Highlight any achievements, such as product development, customer acquisition, or revenue growth. 4. Maximize program benefits. If accepted into an incubator or accelerator, take full advantage of the resources and support available. Mentorship. Engage actively with mentors to gain insights, advice, and feedback on your business. Networking. Build relationships with other startups, mentors, and investors within the program's network. Workshops and training. Participate in workshops, training sessions, and events to enhance your skills and knowledge. Office space and resources. Utilize the office space, equipment, and other resources provided to focus on growing your business. 5. Leverage Demo Day. Accelerators often end with a demo day, where startups pitch to a room full of investors. Prepare a compelling pitch that showcases your progress, market potential, and future plans. Use this opportunity to secure additional funding and attract potential partners or customers. Real-life example. Dropbox, a well-known file hosting service, participated in Y Combinator's Accelerator program. The mentorship, resources, and connections gained through the program were instrumental in Dropbox's rapid growth and success. Leveraging business incubators and accelerators can accelerate your startup's growth, provide essential support, and open doors to valuable funding opportunities. By choosing the right program and maximizing the benefits offered, you can set your business on a path to success. Conclusion Securing the capital you need Securing funding is a pivotal step in bringing your business idea to life and ensuring its growth. This chapter has provided you with an overview of the various funding options available, from bootstrapping and attracting angel investors to exploring loans, grants, and leveraging crowdfunding platforms. Additionally, you've learned about the benefits of business incubators and accelerators. By understanding the strengths and challenges of each funding option, you can make informed decisions that best suit your business needs and growth plans. Here are the key takeaways. Bootstrapping. Using personal savings and early revenue to fund your business offers control and reduces debt but requires careful financial management and frugality. Angel investors and venture capitalists. Attracting these investors involves crafting a compelling pitch, demonstrating traction, and highlighting your unique value proposition. Small business loans and grants. These options provide capital without giving up equity but require detailed applications and a strong understanding of financial requirements. Crowdfunding. This method not only raises funds, but also validates your business idea and builds a community of supporters through engaging campaigns and effective promotion. Incubators and accelerators. These programs offer structured support, mentorship, and funding, helping you to scale your business rapidly while gaining valuable industry connections. Securing the right funding requires preparation, persistence, and a clear presentation of your business's potential. Keep refining your pitch, building your network, and exploring all available resources to find the best fit for your startup. As you move forward, remember that securing funding is just one step in your entrepreneurial journey. The next chapter will focus on building a strong support network, which is crucial for long-term success. With the right funding and support, you're well on your way to turning your vision into reality. Chapter 4 building a strong support network. No entrepreneur succeeds alone. Building a strong support network is essential for navigating the challenges of starting and growing a business. A robust network provides guidance, encouragement, and valuable connections that can open doors to new opportunities. In this chapter, we will explore the importance of having a support network and provide strategies for building one that will help you succeed in your entrepreneurial journey. A support network can take many forms, including mentors, business courses, networking events, online communities, and professional organizations. Each element of your network offers unique benefits and can provide the support you need at different stages of your business development. From finding a mentor who can offer personalized advice to joining professional associations that provide resources and networking opportunities, building a strong support network is a multifaceted process. By the end of this chapter, you will have a clear understanding of how to build and leverage a support network that will help you overcome obstacles, make informed decisions, and achieve your business goals. Let's dive into the strategies for building a support network that will be your foundation for success. Learn from others. Finding a mentor. A mentor can be one of the most valuable assets in your entrepreneurial journey. An experienced mentor provides guidance, support, and insights that can help you navigate the complexities of starting and growing a business. 
Here's how to find and build a relationship with a mentor. 1. Identify your needs. Start by understanding what you need from a mentor. Are you looking for industry-specific knowledge, general business advice, or guidance on a particular aspect of your business, such as marketing or finance? Identifying your needs will help you find a mentor with the right expertise. 2. Research potential mentors. Look for individuals who have achieved success in your industry or possess the skills and experience you seek. Potential mentors can be found through professional networks, industry events, online platforms like LinkedIn, and local business organizations. Consider reaching out to business leaders, former professors, or seasoned entrepreneurs who inspire you. 3. Make the connection. When approaching a potential mentor, be respectful and concise. Explain why you admire their work, what you hope to learn, and how their guidance could benefit your business. Be clear about your expectations and the type of support you need. For example, you might say, I've been following your career and am impressed by your achievements in the tech industry. I'm starting a tech company and would greatly appreciate your guidance on scaling the business. 4. Build the relationship. A mentorship relationship is built on trust and mutual respect. Be open to feedback, show appreciation for their time, and demonstrate your commitment to learning and growth. Regularly update your mentor on your progress and seek their advice on specific challenges. For instance, if you're struggling with a marketing strategy, ask for their insights and suggestions on how to improve. 5. Leverage mentorship programs. Many organizations offer formal mentorship programs that match entrepreneurs with experienced mentors. These programs provide structured support and facilitate connections with mentors who are eager to share their knowledge. Look for programs offered by business incubators, industry associations, and local economic development agencies. Real-life example, when Mark Zuckerberg was building Facebook, he sought mentorship from Steve Jobs. Jobs provided valuable advice on building a strong company culture and creating a clear vision for the business. This mentorship helped Zuckerberg navigate the challenges of scaling Facebook into a global platform. Finding a mentor can significantly enhance your entrepreneurial journey. A mentor provides not only practical advice and insights, but also emotional support and encouragement. By identifying your needs, researching potential mentors, and building a strong relationship, you can gain the guidance and support necessary to achieve your business goals. Educate yourself. Take business courses. Enhancing your knowledge and skills through business courses is a powerful way to prepare yourself for entrepreneurial success. Business courses provide structured learning, practical insights, and the opportunity to connect with other aspiring entrepreneurs. Here's how to make the most of business courses. 1. Identify relevant courses. Look for courses that align with your business needs and goals. These might include general business management, marketing, finance, entrepreneurship, or industry-specific courses. Online platforms like Coursera, edX, and Udemy offer a wide range of business courses, often taught by experts from top universities and institutions. Local universities and community colleges may also offer relevant courses. 2. Consider accreditation and quality. Choose courses that are accredited and recognized for their quality. Accreditation ensures that the course meets certain standards of education and is respected by employers and other institutions. Check reviews and ratings to gauge the quality and relevance of the course content. 3. Balance theory and practice. Look for courses that offer a balance of theoretical knowledge and practical application. Courses that include case studies, real-world projects, and interactive elements can help you apply what you learn to your business. For example, a marketing course that includes a project to develop a marketing plan for a real or hypothetical business can provide hands-on experience. 4. Engage actively. To get the most out of your business courses, actively engage with the material and participate in discussions, assignments, and group projects. Take advantage of networking opportunities with fellow students and instructors. This interaction can lead to valuable connections and collaborative learning experiences. 5. Apply what you learn. As you progress through your courses, continually apply the knowledge and skills to your business. Implement new strategies, experiment with different approaches, and refine your business plan based on what you learn. For instance, if you take a course on financial management, Use the concepts to create more accurate financial projections and budgets for your business. Real-life example, Elon Musk, the founder of Tesla and SpaceX, is known for his commitment to continuous learning. 
Musk has taken various courses and read extensively on topics ranging from rocket science to artificial intelligence, which has significantly contributed to his success in multiple industries. Taking business courses can equip you with the knowledge and skills needed to navigate the complexities of entrepreneurship. By identifying relevant courses, engaging actively, and applying what you learn, you can enhance your business acumen and increase your chances of success. Expand your network. Networking events. Attending networking events is a powerful way to connect with other entrepreneurs, potential partners, investors, and industry experts. These events provide opportunities to share ideas, gain insights, and build relationships that can support your business growth. Here's how to make the most of networking events. 1. Choose the right events. Select events that align with your industry, interests, and business goals. Look for conferences, trade shows, seminars, and local business meetups. Online platforms like Eventbrite, Meetup, and LinkedIn often list relevant networking events. For example, if you're in the tech industry, attending events like TechCrunch Disrupt or Web Summit can be beneficial. 2. Prepare your pitch. Before attending, prepare a concise and compelling pitch about your business. Your pitch should include who you are, what your business does, and what makes it unique. Practice delivering it confidently, so you can easily engage in conversations. For instance, Hi, I'm Jane Doe, founder of EcoClean, a sustainable cleaning service that uses eco-friendly products to provide healthier living spaces. 3. Set clear objectives. Define what you want to achieve from the event. Whether it's finding potential clients, partners, investors, or gaining industry insights, having clear objectives will help you focus your efforts. For example, if your goal is to find investors, prioritize events that attract venture capitalists and angel investors. 4. Engage actively. At the event, be proactive in introducing yourself and starting conversations. Ask open-ended questions to learn about others and show genuine interest in their work. Exchange business cards or contact information and take notes on key conversations to follow up later. For example, what inspired you to start your business? Or can you tell me more about your latest project? 5. Follow up. After the event, follow up with the contacts you made. Send personalized emails or messages referencing your conversation and expressing your interest in staying connected. Building and maintaining relationships is crucial for long-term networking success. For instance, it was great meeting you at the startup conference. I enjoyed our discussion about sustainable practices in the cleaning industry and would love to explore potential collaboration opportunities. Real-life example. Networking played a crucial role in the success of Ben Silberman, co-founder of Pinterest. By attending events and connecting with other entrepreneurs and investors, Silberman was able to build a strong network that helped him secure funding and grow his platform. Networking events provide valuable opportunities to expand your business connections and gain insights that can propel your business forward. By choosing the right events, preparing effectively, engaging actively, and following up, you can maximize the benefits of networking and build a robust support network for your entrepreneurial journey. Go online to gain an advantage. Leveraging online communities and forums. Online communities and forums offer a wealth of knowledge, support, and networking opportunities for entrepreneurs. These platforms enable you to connect with like-minded individuals, seek advice, share experiences, and stay updated on industry trends. Here's how to effectively leverage online communities and forums. 1. Find the right platforms. Identify online communities and forums that are relevant to your industry and business needs. Popular platforms include Reddit, LinkedIn Groups, Quora, and specialized forums like Startup Nation, Indie Hackers, and the Shopify community. For instance, if you're in the e-commerce industry, the Shopify community can provide valuable insights and support. 2. Join and participate actively. Once you've identified the right platforms, join them and start participating. Introduce yourself, share your business goals, and engage in discussions. Answer questions, provide valuable insights, and contribute to the community. Active participation helps you build credibility and establish yourself as a knowledgeable and helpful member. 3. Seek advice and feedback. Use these platforms to seek advice and feedback on your business ideas, challenges, and strategies. Pose specific questions and be open to constructive criticism. For example, you might ask, I'm considering expanding my product line to include eco-friendly packaging. 
Has anyone here made a similar transition, and what challenges did you face? 4. Share your knowledge. Contributing your expertise and experiences can help others and strengthen your network. Write detailed posts, share case studies, and offer solutions to common problems. This not only helps others, but also positions you as an authority in your field. For instance, you could share a post about your experience with crowdfunding, detailing what worked and what didn't. 5. Network and collaborate. Online communities are great places to find potential partners, collaborators, and even customers. Look for opportunities to collaborate on projects, share resources, or support each other's businesses. For example, if you find someone who complements your skills, you might propose working together on a new product or service. Real life example, Brian Chesky, co-founder of Airbnb, leveraged online communities to gain early traction and feedback. By engaging with communities on Reddit and other platforms, Chesky gathered valuable insights that helped shape Airbnb's development and marketing strategies. Leveraging online communities and forums can provide continuous support, inspiration, and opportunities for growth. By finding the right platforms, participating actively, seeking advice, sharing knowledge, and networking, you can build a robust online support network that enhances your entrepreneurial journey. Joining professional organizations and associations. Professional organizations and associations offer valuable resources, networking opportunities, and industry-specific support for entrepreneurs. Being part of these groups can provide access to exclusive events, educational materials, and a community of professionals who share your interests and goals. Here's how to effectively leverage professional organizations and associations. 1. Identify relevant organizations. Research and identify professional organizations and associations that align with your industry, business focus, and professional goals. Look for both national and local groups that offer resources and networking opportunities. Examples include the Chamber of Commerce, industry-specific associations, and entrepreneurial networks like the Entrepreneurs' Organization, EO, or the National Association for the Self-Employed, NACE. 2. Become an active member. Once you join an organization, actively participate in its activities and take advantage of the resources available. Attend meetings, workshops, conferences, and networking events. Volunteer for committees or special projects to increase your visibility and build relationships with other members. For example, volunteering to organize an event or speak at a seminar can showcase your expertise and dedication. 3. Utilize educational resources. Many professional organizations offer educational resources such as webinars, seminars, certifications, and industry reports. Take advantage of these opportunities to enhance your knowledge and skills. Staying informed about the latest industry trends and best practices can give you a competitive edge. 4. Network with industry peers. Use the organization's events and online platforms to connect with other professionals in your field. Networking with peers can lead to collaborations, partnerships, and mentorship opportunities. Building strong relationships within your industry can provide support and open doors to new opportunities. 5. Promote your business. Professional organizations often provide platforms for members to promote their businesses, such as member directories, newsletters, and speaking opportunities. Leverage these platforms to increase your business's visibility and reach. For example, you might submit an article to the organization's newsletter or participate in a panel discussion at a conference. Real life example. Sarah Blakely, the founder of Spanx, credits her involvement in professional organizations and networking groups for helping her build connections and gain valuable insights. By participating in these groups, she was able to learn from other successful entrepreneurs and apply their advice to grow her business. Joining professional organizations and associations can provide a wealth of resources and opportunities to support your entrepreneurial journey. By becoming an active member, utilizing educational resources, networking with industry peers, and promoting your business, you can build a strong support network that helps you achieve your business goals. Conclusion The Power of a Strong Support Network Building a strong support network is a crucial aspect of entrepreneurial success. This chapter has highlighted the importance of finding a mentor, taking business courses, attending networking events, leveraging online communities, and joining professional organizations. Each of these elements plays a vital role in providing the guidance, knowledge, and connections necessary to navigate the challenges of starting and growing a business. Here are the key takeaways. Finding a mentor. 
A mentor offers personalized advice, shares valuable experiences, and provides emotional support, helping you make informed decisions and avoid common pitfalls. Taking business courses. Continuous learning through business courses enhances your knowledge and skills, keeping you updated with the latest industry trends and best practices. Networking events. Attending networking events allows you to connect with other entrepreneurs, potential partners, and investors, creating opportunities for collaboration and growth. Leveraging online communities. Online communities and forums offer a platform for seeking advice, sharing experiences, and staying informed, fostering a sense of belonging and support. Joining professional organizations. Being part of professional organizations provides access to exclusive resources, events, and a network of industry peers, enhancing your business's visibility and reach. A strong support network not only provides practical advice and resources, but also offers encouragement and motivation. Surrounding yourself with a community of like-minded individuals who understand the entrepreneurial journey can make a significant difference in your success. As you continue to build and leverage your support network, remember to give back by sharing your knowledge and experiences with others. By contributing to the community, you strengthen the network and create a positive environment for all entrepreneurs. In the next chapter, we will focus on launching and growing your business. You will learn practical steps for a successful launch, strategies for building brand awareness, and methods for scaling your operations. Let's move forward and take the next step toward turning your vision into reality. Chapter 5. Launching and Growing Your Business Launching your business is an exhilarating milestone, but it's only the beginning of your entrepreneurial journey. Successfully launching and growing your business requires careful planning, strategic execution, and ongoing adaptability. In this chapter, we will explore practical steps for launching your business, building brand awareness, retaining customers, scaling your operations, and adapting to market changes. From creating a detailed launch plan to implementing customer retention strategies, this chapter provides actionable insights to help you navigate the challenges of running a business. You'll learn how to develop a strong brand presence, attract and retain customers, and continuously grow your business in a sustainable manner. By the end of this chapter, you will have a comprehensive understanding of how to launch your business effectively and implement strategies for long-term growth and success. Let's dive into the essential elements of launching and growing your business and take your entrepreneurial venture to new heights. Creating a Launch Plan A well-thought-out launch plan is essential for ensuring a smooth and successful business opening. This plan outlines the steps you need to take to prepare for your launch, attract your initial customers, and make a strong first impression. Here's how to create an effective launch plan. 1. Set clear goals. Define what you want to achieve with your launch. This might include specific sales targets, customer acquisition goals, or brand awareness metrics. Setting clear goals helps you measure the success of your launch and stay focused on your objectives. For example, aim to acquire 100 paying customers within the first month or generate $10,000 in revenue in the first quarter. 2. Develop a timeline. Create a detailed timeline that outlines the tasks and milestones leading up to your launch date. Include key activities such as finalizing your product or service, setting up your website, developing marketing materials, and planning launch events. Break down each task into manageable steps and assign deadlines to ensure everything stays on track. 3. Build anticipation. Generate excitement and anticipation for your launch through pre launch marketing activities. Use social media, email marketing, and your website to tease your upcoming launch and build a sense of anticipation among your target audience. Consider offering sneak peeks, countdowns, and early access to build momentum. For instance, a series of teaser posts on Instagram showcasing different aspects of your product can create buzz. 4. Plan your launch event. Organize a launch event to officially introduce your business to the market. This could be a physical event, a virtual launch party, or a combination of both. Plan activities that engage your audience, such as product demonstrations, live Q&A sessions, and special promotions. For example, a local bakery might host an open house with free samples and behind-the-scenes tours, while an online retailer might hold a live streaming event showcasing their products. 5. Prepare your team. Ensure that your team is well prepared for the launch. Provide training on customer service, sales processes, and product knowledge to ensure everyone is ready to handle the influx of inquiries and orders. Have a plan in place for managing increased traffic, whether it's additional staffing or automated systems. For example, 
an e-commerce business might implement a chatbot to handle common customer questions during the launch period. Real-life example, when Apple launches a new product, they build anticipation through strategic marketing campaigns, announce the launch date well in advance, and hold highly publicized launch events. This meticulous planning and execution generate massive excitement and ensure a successful launch. Creating a detailed launch plan helps you stay organized, build excitement, and ensure that all aspects of your launch are well coordinated. By setting clear goals, developing a timeline, building anticipation, planning a launch event, and preparing your team, you can make a strong impact and set the stage for your business's success. Unleashing the power of brand awareness. Building brand awareness is crucial for attracting customers and establishing your presence in the market. A strong brand presence differentiates you from competitors and fosters trust and loyalty among your target audience. Here's how to effectively build and leverage brand awareness. 1. Define your brand identity. Start by clearly defining your brand's identity. This includes your brand's mission, values, personality, and unique selling proposition, USP. Your brand identity should resonate with your target audience and reflect what sets you apart from competitors. For example, if your business is an eco-friendly skincare line, your brand identity might focus on sustainability, natural ingredients, and ethical sourcing. 2. Create a memorable visual identity. Develop a cohesive visual identity that includes your logo, color palette, typography, and design elements. Your visual identity should be consistent across all touch points, including your website, social media, packaging, and marketing materials. A memorable visual identity helps reinforce your brand and makes it easily recognizable. For instance, the iconic swoosh logo and consistent use of red and white colors make Nike instantly recognizable. 3. Tell your brand story. Craft a compelling brand story that connects emotionally with your audience. Share the journey of your business, the inspiration behind your products or services, and the values that drive you. A powerful brand story can create a deeper connection with customers and differentiate you in the market. For example, Tom's Shoes brand story emphasizes their commitment to giving back, with every purchase supporting a person in need. 4. Leverage social media. Use social media platforms to build and engage your audience. Share content that reflects your brand's values and resonates with your target market. Use a mix of posts, including behind-the-scenes looks, customer testimonials, product highlights, and educational content. Engage with your audience by responding to comments, running contests, and encouraging user-generated content. For example, Lush Cosmetics uses Instagram to share vibrant images of their products, behind-the-scenes content, and customer stories. 5. Collaborate and partner. Collaborate with influencers, other brands, and organizations to expand your reach and build credibility. Partnering with influencers who align with your brand can introduce you to their followers and enhance your brand's visibility. Joint ventures with other brands can also create unique marketing opportunities and reach new audiences. For instance, a fitness apparel brand might collaborate with a popular fitness influencer to co-create a limited edition clothing line. Real-life example, the Dollar Shave Club successfully built brand awareness through a viral video that humorously highlighted the benefits of their subscription service. The video quickly gained millions of views, establishing their brand identity and attracting a large customer base. Building brand awareness is an ongoing process that requires consistency, creativity, and engagement. By defining your brand identity, creating a memorable visual identity, telling your brand story, leveraging social media, and collaborating with others, you can effectively build a strong brand presence that attracts and retains customers. Mastering Customer Retention Strategies Retaining customers is just as important as acquiring new ones. Loyal customers not only generate repeat business, but also become advocates for your brand. Here's how to master customer retention strategies to ensure long-term success. 1. Deliver exceptional customer service. Providing excellent customer service is fundamental to retaining customers. Train your team to be responsive, empathetic, and solution-oriented. Ensure that customer inquiries and issues are addressed promptly and effectively. For example, Zappos is known for its outstanding customer service, offering free shipping and returns, and 24-7 customer support, which has earned them a loyal customer base. 2. Personalize customer experiences. Personalization can significantly enhance customer satisfaction and loyalty. Use customer data to tailor your communications, offers, 
and recommendations. For instance, if you run an online clothing store, use purchase history and browsing behavior to suggest items that match your customers' preferences. Personal touches, such as personalized emails or birthday discounts, can make customers feel valued. 3. Implement a loyalty program. Rewarding customers for their repeat business encourages loyalty. Develop a loyalty program that offers incentives such as discounts, exclusive access, and special rewards for frequent purchases. Make the program easy to understand and participate in. For example, Starbucks Rewards allows customers to earn points for every purchase, which can be redeemed for free drinks and food. 4. Engage through content and community. Keep your customers engaged by creating valuable content and fostering a sense of community. Regularly share informative, entertaining, and relevant content through your blog, social media, and email newsletters. Encourage customers to participate in discussions, share their experiences, and provide feedback. Building a community around your brand can strengthen customer relationships and loyalty. For instance, GoPro's community of users shares their adventure videos and photos, creating a strong bond with the brand. 5. Collect and act on feedback. Regularly seek feedback from your customers to understand their needs and improve your offerings. Use surveys, reviews, and direct interactions to gather insights. Act on the feedback by making necessary improvements and communicating the changes to your customers. Showing that you value their opinions and are committed to enhancing their experience can deepen customer loyalty. For example, Amazon continually refines its services based on customer feedback, which has contributed to its high customer retention rate. Real-life example, Sephora's Beauty Insider Loyalty Program has been highly successful in retaining customers. The program offers tiered rewards, exclusive access to products and events, and personalized recommendations, creating a strong incentive for customers to stay engaged and loyal. Mastering customer retention strategies involves delivering exceptional service, personalizing experiences, rewarding loyalty, engaging through content, and acting on feedback. By focusing on these areas, you can build lasting relationships with your customers, ensuring repeat business and long-term success for your brand. Scaling your business with strategic growth. Scaling your business involves expanding your operations to increase revenue, reach more customers, and enhance your market presence. Strategic growth requires careful planning and execution to ensure sustainable success. Here's how to effectively scale your business. 1. Develop a scalable business model. Ensure that your business model can support growth without compromising quality or customer experience. This might involve streamlining processes, automating tasks, and leveraging technology. For example, an e-commerce business can scale by using a robust platform like Shopify, which handles increased traffic and transactions efficiently. 2. Expand your product or service line. Diversifying your offerings can attract new customers and increase revenue from existing ones. Conduct market research to identify complementary products or services that align with your brand and meet customer needs. For instance, a skincare brand might expand its line to include hair care products, capitalizing on existing customer trust and interest. 3. Enter new markets. Expanding into new geographic or demographic markets can significantly boost your growth. Analyze potential markets to understand their demand, competition, and cultural nuances. Develop a tailored entry strategy that includes localized marketing and distribution. For example, if your business is successful in urban areas, consider targeting suburban or rural markets with modified offerings. 4. Enhance marketing and sales efforts. Invest in marketing and sales strategies to reach a broader audience and drive growth. Utilize digital marketing, content marketing, and social media to increase brand awareness and generate leads. Strengthen your sales team and processes to handle increased demand and close more deals. For example, implementing a customer relationship management CRM system can streamline sales activities and improve customer interactions. 5. Optimize operations. Scaling requires efficient operations to support growth. Evaluate and improve your supply chain, production, and distribution processes to handle increased volume. Consider outsourcing non-core activities to focus on your strengths and maintain quality. For example, outsourcing customer service to a reputable provider can ensure consistent support as you grow. Real-life example, Uber scaled rapidly by expanding its ride-sharing service to new cities and countries, diversifying its offerings with Uber Eats, 
and leveraging technology to optimize its operations. This strategic growth approach allowed Uber to become a global leader in the transportation and delivery industries. Scaling your business with strategic growth involves developing a scalable model, expanding your product or service line, entering new markets, enhancing marketing and sales efforts, and optimizing operations. By focusing on these areas, you can achieve sustainable growth and elevate your business to new heights. Adapting to market changes for long-term success. The ability to adapt to market changes is crucial for the long-term success and sustainability of your business. Markets are dynamic, influenced by technological advancements, consumer preferences, economic shifts, and competitive pressures. Here's how to stay agile and responsive to market changes. 1. Monitor industry trends. Keep a close watch on industry trends and market dynamics. Subscribe to industry publications, attend conferences, and participate in webinars to stay informed. Use tools like Google Trends and market research reports to track emerging trends and shifts in consumer behavior. For example, the rise of mobile commerce may prompt you to optimize your online store for mobile users. 2. Embrace technology. Technology can drive efficiency and innovation in your business. Stay updated on the latest technological advancements relevant to your industry and consider how they can be integrated into your operations. For instance, adopting artificial intelligence, AI, for customer service can enhance response times and customer satisfaction. 3. Gather customer feedback. Regularly seek feedback from your customers to understand their evolving needs and preferences. Use surveys, social media interactions, and direct conversations to gather insights. Act on this feedback to improve your products, services, and customer experience. For example, if customers express a desire for faster delivery times, explore options to enhance your logistics processes. 4. Analyze competitor strategies. Keep an eye on your competitors and analyze their strategies. Understand what they are doing well and identify areas where you can differentiate. Competitive analysis can provide valuable insights and help you adapt your strategy to maintain a competitive edge. For instance, if a competitor successfully launches a new product feature, consider whether a similar or improved feature would benefit your customers. 5. Be willing to pivot. Sometimes, adapting to market changes requires a significant shift in your business strategy. Be willing to pivot if necessary, even if it means changing your business model, product offering, or target market. Evaluate the potential risks and benefits of a pivot and make informed decisions. For example, many businesses pivoted to online sales and delivery models during the COVID-19 pandemic to adapt to changing consumer behaviors. Real-life example, Netflix successfully adapted to market changes by transitioning from a DVD rental service to a streaming platform. Recognizing the shift in consumer preferences towards on-demand content, Netflix pivoted its business model and invested heavily in original content leading to significant growth and industry leadership. Adapting to market changes for long-term success involves monitoring industry trends, embracing technology, gathering customer feedback, analyzing competitor strategies, and being willing to pivot when necessary. By staying agile and responsive, you can navigate market fluctuations and ensure the continued growth and sustainability of your business. Conclusion Thriving in the Business Landscape Launching and growing your business is an ongoing journey filled with opportunities and challenges. This chapter has provided you with practical strategies to ensure a successful launch, build brand awareness, retain customers, scale your operations, and adapt to market changes. Here are the key takeaways. Creating a launch plan. A well-prepared launch plan sets the foundation for a successful business opening. By setting clear goals, developing a timeline, building anticipation, planning a launch event, and preparing your team, you can make a strong first impression and attract initial customers. Unleashing the power of brand awareness. Building a strong brand presence differentiates you from competitors and fosters customer loyalty. Defining your brand identity, creating a memorable visual identity, telling your brand story, leveraging social media, and collaborating with partners are essential steps in establishing and growing your brand. Mastering customer retention strategies. Retaining customers is crucial for long-term success. Delivering exceptional customer service, personalizing experiences, implementing a loyalty program, engaging through content, and acting on feedback help you build lasting relationships with your customers. Scaling your business with strategic growth. Scaling involves expanding your operations to increase revenue and reach more customers. Developing a scalable business model, 
expanding your product line, entering new markets, enhancing marketing efforts, and optimizing operations are key to achieving sustainable growth. Adapting to market changes for long-term success. Staying agile and responsive to market changes is essential for long-term success. Monitoring industry trends, embracing technology, gathering customer feedback, analyzing competitor strategies, and being willing to pivot enable you to navigate market fluctuations and maintain a competitive edge. As you continue on your entrepreneurial journey, remember that success requires continuous learning, adaptability, and perseverance. Stay focused on your goals, be open to new opportunities, and remain committed to delivering value to your customers. With the strategies outlined in this chapter, you are well equipped to launch, grow, and sustain a thriving business. In the next chapter, we will conclude the book with additional resources and final encouragement to keep you motivated and inspired. Let's move forward and celebrate the exciting journey of entrepreneurship. Book Conclusion Embrace the Journey of Entrepreneurship As you reach the end of startup success, turning your vision into reality, remember that entrepreneurship is a continuous learning process filled with both challenges and triumphs. This book has provided you with foundational knowledge and practical strategies to help you embark on and navigate your entrepreneurial journey. Here's a recap of what you've learned. 1. Discovering your business idea. You explored how to find a viable business idea by aligning your passions with market needs, using brainstorming techniques, conducting market research, evaluating your skills, and identifying trends and opportunities. 2. Crafting a solid business plan. You learned the essential components of a business plan, including writing a compelling executive summary, conducting a detailed market analysis, defining your organizational structure, showcasing your products or services, and developing a marketing and sales strategy. 3. Securing funding for your startup. You discovered various funding options, including bootstrapping, attracting angel investors and venture capitalists, applying for loans and grants, leveraging crowdfunding, and utilizing business incubators and accelerators. 4. Building a strong support network. You understood the importance of finding a mentor, taking business courses, attending networking events, leveraging online communities, and joining professional organizations to build a robust support network. 5. Launching and growing your business. You gained insights into creating a launch plan, building brand awareness, mastering customer retention strategies, scaling your business, and adapting to market changes for long-term success. Entrepreneurship requires resilience, adaptability, and a relentless spirit. Embrace the challenges, celebrate the successes, and continue seeking knowledge and support. Remember, every successful entrepreneur started with a single idea and a determination to see it through. For further support, consider reaching out to local municipal economic development offices, chambers of commerce, or finding a mentor who can provide ongoing guidance. These resources can offer invaluable assistance and connect you with opportunities to grow your business. Stay inspired, stay determined, and keep pushing forward. Your vision is within reach, and with dedication and perseverance, you can turn your entrepreneurial dreams into reality. Best of luck on your journey to startup success.